Hey, this is Tony Ross with CreativeCal.net, and in this lesson we're going to be creating a pencil drawing a line. It's going to be involving a few drawing techniques as well as we're going to be doing uh, a shape tween, a motion tween, and also dealing with some masking. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and change my layer 1 name. Uh, simply double click on here. I'm going to type in line and go ahead and hit or turn or enter. And from there I'm going to go and select my pencil tool. And pretty much the pencil tool works as a stroke, so you can set the colors here. Got a nice little pencil gray. And along with the pencil tool are the different modes. There's straighten, smooth, and ink. Let me explain those real quick. What straighten does is it does the most correction um, if you're trying to draw out something. So it thinks I'm trying to draw a straight line. It's going to help me out there. I'm going to undo that real quick. Let's do Command Z. And it's Control Z on a PC. Uh, what Smooth does is it's going to help you out, but not as much, and it's a little less angular than the straighten is. Okay? So I'm going to Command Z and undo those. Again, that's Control Z on PC ink is going to do the least amount of correction so it's pretty much like you can just draw things out freehand and you should be okay all right let's undo that okay all we're going to be doing is a basic straight line so I'm going to simply just draw a line across and I'm basically doing this by holding down while holding down my shift key and that allows me to keep a very straight line there okay now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add uh, frames here. I want to extend this frame all the way out to frame 24. And it's not saying this is 24 frames a second because our default is pretty much 12 frames per second. Uh, and we're not changing that. We're going to leave it alone. But I do want to have this line go out for 24 frames. So I'm simply going to press uh, my command key F5 and that's extended that out that many frames which is good now I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer and our lock this little got little dot right here we'll click right there I'm going to go ahead and lock the layer now I'm going to insert a new layer okay and this layer I'm going to call mask. Ask. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do, I'm going to go to my rectangle tool. Um, I do not want to stroke around this rectangle, so I'm going to set it to none. Uh, and I do want a decent fill color. Now, for masking, me personally, I like to use a simple basic gray. Some of my colleagues like to use really bright and garish colors, and that way they know it's a mask. Uh, I'm going to make this mask pretty tall. Uh, the main thing I'm trying to cover is this line. But uh, you can run into some little weird artifacts if you're mixing. Um, what I've noticed is if, if this mask, even though it's not going to be connected to the pencil, if it's not covering where the pencil is, you'll get some weird artifacts. So I normally try to give myself a little more headroom here. Okay, so we've got this set up. And I think I do want to move this over closer to the beginning. So I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm just going to move this over just a bit, right at the edge of where that line starts. Okay, and what I want to do is, let's say by frame 20, we want this rectangle, this little here rectangle here, to actually expand the entire width of this line. The way that a mask works inside of Flash, whatever it's covering is what's going to be visible. So at the beginning, we have absolutely nothing that's going to be visible. And then we're going to go to frame 20. And I'm looking right here, and I can see that, hey, I'm on that current frame of frame 20. And I want to insert a keyframe. F6. Okay, and I'm going to go to my free transform tool 
and I'm going to just simply stretch this out to the length of the line. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to click anywhere in between this keyframe, with the first keyframe, and frame 20 here. And if you're on, if you're using Flash CS3, you can pretty much control click or right click right on here and you will get the option of doing a shape tween. If you're on an earlier version of Flash, you can come down to your properties inspector and set the tween to shape. Okay, uh, and we're doing that because this is a shape, it's not a symbol. Uh, you can also notice that if you have like a little green arrow happening here, or green highlighted arrow, you're doing good. And this is just kind of scrubbing back and forth, this looks pretty decent. Okay, now to make this really work, we're going to turn this layer into a mask layer. We've named it mask, but it's not a mask layer yet. So I'm simply going to right click on here, or control click. Okay. Alright, now, if you noticed, by doing that, nothing is on our stage currently. Well, that's because the mask is activated. It's a way of actually testing out what's happening here. Uh, once we set it to mask, it locked both layers. And if both layers are locked, the mask layer and the masked layer, you can tell by the icons here, that is when you can kind of preview what's going to happen. So if you look out, you kind of have that line drawing out, which is pretty good. All right. So that part is done. So let's get to the other part. We're going to insert a new layer. And I'm going to simply call this pencil. I'm going to double click. OK. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my rectangle tool. And I don't want any stroke around this. I'm going to draw a basic rectangle. This is going to be our pencil. Not too big. Uh, and I am going to zoom in just so I can see what I'm doing. Grab my zoom tool. I'm just going to click and drag around the area. Now, I want to go to my selection tool. And if you notice, every time I get near this section, uh, like a large flat section, the cursor changes to this little curved area. If I get to a corner and get a little anchor point here, and this is how you can draw and flash. This is a different way of dealing with the uh, Bezier curves and things like that. So what I want to do is move my cursor about right here in the middle. Now I'm going to hold down Option, Alt on PC, and click and pull out. So it's going to allow me to pull out a point. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. Okay? Now while I'm still on here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my selection tool, click and drag, and I just want to grab the first little part. And this is going to be uh, our little pencil here. So I'm going to go here and change the color to a basic pencil yellow. That looks pretty good. Now, that was one way of selecting uh, once you're drawing here. So I can click on this triangle, and because it's a different color than the rest of the pencil, it's going to be separate. So let's find a nice little wood color. And that works. And last but not least, we're going to click and drag just the tip of this for the lead, and we'll find a nice lead color. Okay, so there's our pencil, and I want to go ahead and select everything here. So I'm just simply going to click here, drag all the way out, and select the entire pencil. And we're going to convert this to what's called a symbol. And in Flash, in order to do a motion tween, you need to have, uh, you don't use a shape, you use a symbol. So we're going to convert this to a graphic symbol. And I'm going to do that by pressing F8. And we're going to call this Pencil. 
I'm going to go ahead and leave this as a graphic. Uh, leave my registration right where it is and simply click OK. Alrighty, now I'm going to get back to 100%. Quick way of doing that is simply double clicking on my zoom tool. Okay, now we need to figure out exactly where our line is. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to one, turn on an outline of our mask layer and second thing I want to do is unlock the mask layer and by doing that I can see exactly where our line starts okay now I'm still on our pencil layer so what I'm going to do is click once here and I'm going to go to our free transform tool and make sure we're only selecting the pencil so nothing weird is happening there if you notice that the whole thing was selected we just want to make sure the pencil is selected and we're going to move our little transform center uh, because if we don't this basically rotates this way and we don't want it that way we want to actually have this rotate from the tip okay so now we can rotate our pencil this way looks pretty good all right, and beyond that, we're going to move our pencil right down to the beginning of the line. Looks pretty good. And what I want to do now is go to the end of where this line is going to end here. I'm going to click on our pencil layer and do another keyframe, F6. And we're going to move our pencil all the way to the edge. The way I'm going to do that is simply hold on my shift key and I'm going to use the arrow key to get that all the way over to the edge. Looks good. And I'm also going to change the angle. Start off that way. I'm going to kind of bend our pencil backwards just a little and give it a little bit of animation here. All right, we're almost done. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to right click in the middle here and just set up a create a motion tween. Now this is available in earlier versions of Flash. It's only in the most recent one they actually did create motion tween and create shape tween from a right click or a control click. Okay. So I'm kind of scrubbing and I'm looking for that outline to make sure that everything is kind of lining up. It looks pretty decent, it's not too bad. Okay. Alrighty, now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and test this out. So I'm simply going to put on my command key and hit return and that's control enter on PC. All right, and there's our little pencil drawing out of line. This has been Tony Ross for CreativeCal.net, and remember, keep it simple, make it perfect.